The Yankees have won three in a row. Jake Peavy getting the start for the White Sox tonight at home. The 0-1 to Ott. Swung on, lined out to left field. Drifting back is Adam Klein. Sets up to make the catch. He does. Here comes the throw home. Carpenter slides in safely. And the Gold Eyes lead at 1-0 on a sack fly by Lou Ott. So from the Gold Eyes dugout, they move Justice in to play shallow in right field. One ball, no strikes. Hess will come set the 1-0. Swung on, line to center field. That will drop for a base hit and tie this baseball game. Carpenter will pick it up and fire it into long. And Haynes has a RBI single. And we're tied at one. Hess will come set, first pitch. Breaking ball, swung on. That's hit high, pretty deep to right center. Carpenter going back, and at the warning track, it is gone. First pitch swinging for Mike Rohde, a three-run home run. And all of a sudden, it's a three-run lead for Gary at 4-1. to one. Boy, Rohde just knocked that right out of the ballpark to right center. First pitch swinging. And Hess will come set. First pitch to Kolb, and he's going to show bunt, lay one down. It's going to be picked up by Hess, and he is going to throw it away down the right field line. It's going to get into the bullpen of the Gary Social Railcats. Rody will score easily, and up to second base, and stopping there is going to be Kolb. So, 5-1. to one. Hafter and Cabrera for the Tribe. 0-1. Oh, 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 he just hit him. He hit Carrera, and it makes it 6-1 to one as the bases are loaded. And Carrera gets hit for the second straight inning. Tough way to pick up an RBI. 0-1. Swung on, played over first, down the right field line, base hit. And it gets by Guerrero, and it's going to go all the way to the wall. Long will score, Weber will truck around third, he'll come in to score, and heading for third is Allen. And he's in there sliding safely with a two-run triple. And it's 6-3, to three, Gary. On well, a play where he was well in advance of the throw and across the bag. Pitch is swung on, bounced right side. It got by West Long and into left center field. They're going to wave in the runner. Up with the ball is Weber, and his throw will go to second base, and it chases Boyer back to first. An RBI single for Boyer, and it's 7-3 here for being weighted down with a piece of steel on it. 2-2. Two, two. Swung on, and that is hit left side by Brian Myro in the left field. And they are going to wave in the runner. Here comes the throw. It's cut off. And now it gets by Myro at third base as it's getting pretty wet and tacky out there. And everybody else on the base pass takes an extra base. Rody gets to second. Haynes goes to third. In to score is Valadez for the second run of the inning. And it's 8-3 for the Gary South Shore Railcats. No timely hitting. The bullpen hasn't been very good. 2-0 is low. It gets away from Allen. Goes back toward the screen. Coming into score is going to be Haynes. And it's 9-3 on the wild pitch. It's wet and tacky around the entire infield here. 3-2. Swung on, that's hit out to short by a diving long into center field. And an RBI single by Brian Kolb, who has his first hit of the night. And the Railcats have hit double digits, it's 10 to 3. Who is 0 for 2, he's been hit by pitches twice tonight, including with the bases loaded to drive it a run. Pitch is swung on, that is hit out to left field. Well stroke, courtesy Trot Weber, way back and gone. A two-run homer for Chris Carrera, his first home run of the year. And it's 12 to three. Well, the wheels have come right off of this one here tonight. So if he closes this down, he'll get a save, 3-2. Swung on, that's filleted out toward left. Get down, baseball, yes it does. 20 straight games with a hit, and Kaiser striding for second. He'll be in standing with a double. That's the best part of the night right here. Comes off the bench, only gets two ABs to extend it, and it's 20 straight games with a hit for Cody Kaiser. Seven home runs, and he drives one out to right center, pretty well hit. 
Guerrero closing the distance in the gap, but he reaches up and makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Now the Gold Eyes get a run on a couple of hits. Cody Kaiser extends a hitting streak to 20, and they leave one. Final score, Gary 12, Winnipeg 4. Back with the totals in the postgame show after these on Sports Radio 1290.